Hi everybody, welcome to Gooey Plays. Today I'm playing Boom Beach on iPhone. I am currently level 31 and I, not too long ago, unlocked the tank. I've been using it since I unlocked it, probably about a week ago. And I found it's a, definitely the most effective unit in the game, the most powerful. I've used all the other units up until then. They are level 1 tanks, so they're just basic. I've got seven of them. Um, I'm going to show you attacking hopefully a level around a level 30 base today. There's a level 29. I'll show you how effective the tank is. Usually, what I do is take out the boom cannon first and then and the other cannons, usually with artillery barrages, because if you get hit by one of them, chances are you're going to lose that tank anyway. So, it's best to avoid getting shot by any cannons you can also you also want to try and avoid the sniper towers as well because a high level sniper tower can damage the tank quite a lot also don't get close to any machine guns or flamethrowers because at close range they'll do a lot of damage but if you keep them at distance it's generally quite safe this guy's base he's got four cannons and a boom and the boom cannon I'm going to take the boom cannon out I'm probably going to try and EMP this cannon near the coast and land there um, and destroy that before it gets a chance to shoot and then I'm going to flank round the top into the trees and attack the base from behind destroy all these buildings to get more, more gunboat power so I can launch a few more artillery barrages against these other cannons probably just this one here this is the only one that's a threat I can avoid these two at the bottom if I go around the back so let's do that. You can usually knock out the boom cannon with three artillery shots. I don't usually use the barrage on the boom cannon because it doesn't seem to be too effective, to be honest. I'm going to launch all of my tanks and I've still got enough points to use my power up. So I'm going to EMP that as soon as it moves. That's that destroyed. Now I'm going to flank up the top. This tower's under construction, so it's not it's not going to shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we've got a problem here. These two tanks have not gone far enough, so they're attacking that machine gun. But as long as I can pull them back before they get anywhere near that cannon, we should be okay. Okay, so they're heading up into the tree line now. I'll let them attack the base. I may need to move them a bit more to keep out of range of this. I'm going to move them as soon as I've destroyed that mortar. Do a bit more of a round, uh, flanking around the back. And from here, I should just be able to uh, let the tanks destroy all the structures freely. There's no threat, immediate threat, so I'm going to take this cannon out as, as I get the, the points to use the power up. So that's that cannon destroyed, so there's no obvious threats now. That sniper tower's a very low level so it's not going to damage the tank at all. <coughs> I'm just going to allow the tanks to go in. And mop up from here. sniper tower because that one and that mortar may cause a little bit of damage to the tanks. I had some points, three points available there. So that's the base destroyed now. 
so it is beneficial to flank around the back if you can. And with the tank being quite a slow unit, you do have a lot of control over where it goes with other than other units which will just run in and they're difficult to control and they get themselves into trouble before they can get them out. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like any more Boom Beach videos in the future, then please subscribe.